Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week we're going to sort out the doors. Off camera I've primed them with some plastic primer, painted the inside matte black and sprayed a white stripe where the stripe's going to go. To mask it up we need to attach the door to the truck with its two screws. It's important we get the door to sit perfectly right now so the stripe ends up in just the right place. Then to make sure it doesn't move while we stick the stripe mask on, we need to stick the bottom edge down. That way it really can't move. Next we have some very thin Tamiya masking tape. When trying to get a really good edge, a nice tape makes all the difference. Tamiya is my preference, but there are other model tapes around that work well too. You just have to try them and see how you get on. Now we can apply the tape following the line on the body, being extra generous either side to make sure it all lines up. Then we peel off the lower tape and very carefully open the door. Then we remove the screws and then we seal the tape down and wrap it round the sides. You can get special tools, but I just use the back of a fingernail to burnish the tape, rubbing it to make sure it's well and truly stuck. Just make sure your hands are super clean and dry so you're not transferring the hand grease and oil. Next, we mask off the bottom section so we can paint the red. For this we can use a nice wide tape, plus you can get away with a cheap masking tape for the bolt masking. Just make sure it's fairly low tack. Blue painters tape usually does the trick. The middle doors are slightly different as there's two stripes. It's the same method though, we mask up the two stripes then fill in the middle bit. Then we can start spraying. In this case it's post office red. We're going to leave the paint for a good couple of hours so we're fairly safe to handle the doors. The paint will still be soft of course, but it will be ok as long as we're nice and gentle. We can hold on to the mast areas and peel off the bolt mask being careful not to lift the stripes. Now we leave the door for a nice long while to really dry. We're going to be sticking the tape to the fresh paint, so if we go too soon the tape's going to mark up the paint, making for a less than perfect finish. Leaving it overnight would do the trick. The next day now and we've masked off the red areas ready for the next paint, which of course is going to be black. Again, it's been left for a while, so we can peel the tape off. Starting with the tape over the red, then peeling the stripes off to reveal the final product. Optionally, if you're brave and fairly sure you've got a reasonable amount of paint on there, you can very gently wet sand the surface to bring down the ridges along the stripe where the paint builds up along the edge of the tape. With that done, we just need to paint the rear door solid black and spray a nice few coats of lacquer so we get a nice glossy finish. Now I usually start with 3 or 4 very light coats, not worrying too much about the finish, with 10 or 15 minutes between. Then 2 or 3 much heavier coats aiming for some gloss. When spraying, watch the surface very closely. There's a point where the surface will go from kind of a mottled finish to glossy. Stop when you have an even gloss and wait 30 to 40 minutes before the next coat. I haven't polished any of the painted parts on this truck. The gloss purely comes from the self leveling of the lacquer. We could push it further with some polish, but I think it's plenty good enough. With the doors fitted, we have an almost visually complete truck. We've still got lots more lights to add, lots of electronics and of course all the chrome bits. Eventually we'll also have some decals made up to complete the model, but that's a way off just yet. Now you might be thinking this sounds a bit like a wrap up for the video, and you'd be right. It's in the mid 30s in my office today, or that's getting on for 95 Fahrenheit, which needless to say is a bit on the warm side for doing anything intelligent. So to fit out the rest of the video a bit, I'm going to add some clips from some quad flying. It's a Diatone Roma L5 with a 4S LiPo and a GoPro 9 on the front. Now I'm not really into crazy freestyle flying, and to be honest that's not really what the L5 is good at. The plan is to use it for chasing faster RC cars and getting HD or even 4K video. I'm still experimenting though so the quality isn't quite there yet. Not bad for messing around though, and it's a lot of fun to play with. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if there's something on your mind. Bye guys!